That's really weird. Like, half the time it's not working, the sound's screwed up, and... <laughs> it's just messing with me now. Alright, come on. Turn around. Let's try this one more time. Come on. Alright. Let's see if there's anything else around here, now that I can look around freely. Looks like probably not. I think that was sadly it. Doesn't look like there's anything else uh, demon-wise either. Nothing by the bank. Okay, well, guess we'll continue on. Hello. Original cemetery wall, Ashland Cemetery, Silent Shores. So I guess the uh, cemetery originally was stopping right here instead of going out this far. Looks like they've really expanded it quite a bit. Hello, there is something on the ground there indicating there might be something around here. Reckless Ronin. I suppose I should expect it. A man with that many tattoos isn't afraid of pain and isn't afraid of doing something today he'll regret tomorrow. But if I'm going to be attached to him, I need to have some assurance that he cares if he lives or dies. I hear stories of the chances he takes, and I hope he's just trying to impress me. Because if not, one of these days he's going to barge into a situation and come out in a box. Well, you know, Funny story, it seems like maybe you were a little bit more reckless than Ronan was, and got yourself killed. Yeah. About that. Okay, so we do have a rune down on the ground, or whatever the hell you want to call it. It can't be that hard. Then you get over here and try it. Okay. I know it's steel or iron or something, but it's just like a fence, right? I mean, how much can it weigh? <clears throat> Should have brought a crowbar. Yeah. We always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston in the middle of the night. Just get your ass over here. Hey, no problem. But remember, this whole thing was your idea. Damn! This thing's got to be welded shut or something. Nah. No. I'm sure they have doors ready for easy access after they put dead bodies inside. Next time, remember the crowbar. Next time? Wait. Where's the flask? I thought you had it. No, you... D did you put it down somewhere? It's around. Just keep looking. It's essential equipment for a road trip, you know. Two drunks trying to rob a crypt? Yeah, the new Tomb Raider game. What's in your mind? This is not going to end well. Yeah, probably not. The ghosts are watching you and they're uh, not really happy about this. Whose idea was this? Probably yours. At least it'll make a good story later. Really? Haven't had this much fun in... ever. This is fun? I don't know what this guy's talking about. Hey, I got in here. Man, if you guys get through here, I think this guy might shoot you. I'm not sure if he is capable, but uh, he certainly got a lot of uh, weaponry back here. So, uh, who's the hero? Hi, kid. Who is the hero? My great-grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. I even had a drink from his flask. No one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of his gory stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. Trust me, kid. Stuff like that stays with you forever. You only find yourself wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be remembered like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Okay, okay, touchy subject. I get it. 
I have a feeling this guy was playing with his grandfather's weapons and ended up shooting himself, and that's why he's got this stuff with him. Well, I can't go back that way, but I can go through here. Looks like just some other crypts. Can't go through there. Oh, there is something right through there. How does one get there? Okay, it looks like there's a hill around the other side. There's nothing against this wall, is there? Ghost-wise, ghost drawings. Hmm, okay. It's fine to me. I wonder how one gets over there. Probably just this teleportation stuff. I should quit trying to look for something that probably is not going to show up in my favor. Hey, how's it going? What you up to? Hey, I don't know what you're doing, but... Finally! It's about time they sent someone. Look, I think you got the wrong guy. Who were you expecting? <sighs> Who's supposed to maintain this place? I mean, just take a look around. These aren't just rocks, they're... Reminders. No one else may care, but I refuse to just let mine crumble away. I refuse to be forgotten. Right. Well, good luck with that. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I'm sorry, lady, but I'm pretty sure that uh, once enough generations go by, you will most definitely be forgotten. That's looks suspicious back here, like there should be something. But I mean, I don't see any runes going on, so I'm gonna guess that it's a no. Uh, have I been in this one? Why, hello, what is this? Spray painted graffiti. Bell killer graffiti is unlikely the work of the killer himself. Refer danger of cult status to community relations officer. Well, we found something at the very least. Can't go through those walls. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more to be found back this way. This graveyard looks like it's going to be a place that I'm going to miss a lot of things. Why Ronan became a cop. Ronan was unusually philosophical today. He doesn't usually say these kinds of things, but he kept going on about karma and how he needed to redeem himself from some past misdeeds. I'm assuming he's talking about the crimes in his past, and that's why he needs to become a cop. To atone, he said. It was the only way he could see fixing his life. Hey, what's Here we up? We are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? This young lady just asked if this happened before or after the famous trials. It actually happened a few decades before, so this graveyard is quite old. Okay, and we're going to walk a little farther now, so if you'll just follow me. Doesn't look like they're following you, lady. In fact, maybe you should actually be moving for them to follow you in the first place. No? Okie dokie then. What's up? Is that like a spatula or something? What? What is that? Leave her alone, or you've got a problem. I guess he's staring at her or something. You got a problem? Hey, buddy. You got a problem? You could say that. I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away to buy from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? 
Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. Just uh, become a demon. I'll show you what that special place is. What's up, guys? What are you thinking? Wonder if it's really haunted. Uh, well, probably not. I felt a chill. Was it a ghost? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Probably scandalous stuff they can't talk about. Hmm. If you say so. There's so much more than witches in this town. Why did so much sickness happen here? Well, uh, you know, plague goes around and then it uh, ends up hitting somewhere. I mean, you can't just kind of prevent it forever. Eventually, you're going to at least catch a cold. Come on. Such a small door. Well, I guess it is late at night. Yeah, I mean, seriously, it's super dark out right now. I don't know why you'd be doing a tour right now. Unless you're trying to scare yourself, then I guess I could understand. So peaceful now. But some terrible things happen to these people. I think they really like this part. Sure, standing around, doing nothing. Everyone likes that part of the tour. What do we have here? Aha, something to reveal. The heirloom. Need 12 more to uncover the story. And once again, our sound seems to be gone. Hold on, can I? Ha! <laughs> okay, uh, maybe there are secret ways of getting to places that you normally can't get to without uh, any powers. So uh, I guess I'll have to look around even more with that other place. I just don't know if I can get out of here. But there's totally stuff back here. It's another piece of the heirloom. Okay, is there anything else back here? Why, hello. There's a door back here. Anything back here of any interest? Oh, there's something to reveal. Man, I can barely see that. Okay, I saw it that time, but still. Sacrifice makes a feast for the innocent. Okay. So we've got a random sacrifice thing. Go out this way. Is there any more to find here? Uh, yeah, we've got some symbols on the wall here. Ah, and there's where that other symbol was. So that's probably indicating this area here. At the very least, I can feel satisfied with having found that. Um, I guess I can just hop off this way. I'm not really trapped in here. I think I've found pretty much everything over here as far as I can tell. So let's move on. Places to hide. Is there a demon somewhere around here? No? Okay. What is that? Just like a flask here. I suppose the other possibility is... Um, when that guy drank out of his grandfather's flask, there could have been some kind of disease inside of that flask that ended up killing him. What do we have here? Yellow Fever Memorial Plaque. Many brave workers from Salem who made the Panama Canal possible, changing world commerce, died in this facility from the dreaded Yellow Fever in 1904. going on over there. Hello there. Something to observe. Dr. Trotter's findings. I'm guessing you're Dr. Trotter? Nothing like good book. Nothing like a good book. Shh. Not now. I can't be bothered. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Fine, I'll just look around myself then. Don't touch anything. If you must know, I'm on the verge of figuring it out, piecing it all together. 
No offense, but these medical books seem a little out of date. I don't think you're breaking any new ground here. Why would I do that when there's so much old ground that needs figuring out? Let me ask you, do you know what the oldest known malady is? And of course you don't, so I'll just tell you. It's death. And every culture in the world has a book on the subject, usually lost and usually taboo. I've dedicated my life to unraveling the mysteries of death. I'm close, but there's still something missing. Some things are just better off lost. Okay. This guy is apparently looking for the Necronomicon here. Good luck to him. I don't think that's really worth digging up, but, you know, if he really wants it. Hey, how's it going, lady? So, uh, why are these people sick? Not that I'm... Not positive that this is probably the 1660 quarantine that people were talking about, but let's ask anyway. Why were all those people sick? I... I, I think it's yellow fever. I, I overheard the nurses talking about it. Something about the, the people working on the Panama Canal. <coughs> they must have brought it back with them. Please, I can't die here. They'll use me for his experiment. <coughs> what do you mean? This was a hospital. They were trying to help you. Can't you see? <coughs> this was a quarantine. No help is coming. Only death. <coughs> Apparently. And you're already dead, so it already came. I don't know what it is about her clothing, but I really don't think that is female attire for the 19, uh, 1900s there. Not 1904, anyway. Um, and even less 1660 when this quarantine was supposed to happen. Puzzling. I don't know, maybe I uh, am missing something with the attire here, but I really don't think in the 1660s when this quarantine was happening, we would have uh, been seeing this kind of attire. Maybe that attire back there, that, that looks more 1660s to me, but not hers. She looks like she's maybe from the 1920s, 1930s, and more like boys clothing for that era. That's more like modern female clothing. Anyway, what do we got going on up here? Ah, you. Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Oh. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. Okay, I guess we get teleportation after all. Holding this displays a destination marker. You can move the marker and with that, and releasing this will teleport us. Ah, so we get like a little ball of teleportation. Interesting. I see something down there, so I'm going to go grab it. New Roses tattoo. Something I wasn't expecting. A new tattoo on Ronan. It's nice that this one isn't about crime or some violence. It's about me. In fact, us really. Two intertwined roses right over his heart. I guess he's in this relationship for good. Kind of crazy he put it over the tattoo about his parents. Aha, I was right. Parents in jail. Two spiders. That asshole did not know what he was talking about in the morgue. <laughs> 